Hey guys, it's Doc, and this is one of those videos I think you're going to want to watch. You're going to want to watch the whole thing because I'm going to cover a ton of subjects. So just hold on, we're going for a ride. Hey guys, when I have a piece of paper in my hand, that means I'm going to cover a lot of stuff because I almost never have a sheet of paper in my hand when I'm doing a video. What are we going to cover today? Let me go over the list real quick for you. We're going to talk about fall treatments. We're going to talk about fertilizers. When do you stop fertilizing? That's a common question we're getting right now. When do, do I keep fertilizing? When do I stop? When can I put my last one down? We're going to cover that for you and what to put down in the fall. Uh, army worms. We're going to do a follow-up on army worms because I had to do a second treatment because of the life cycle. I'm going to show you a little bit on that. Uh, we're going to cover the stock on products, on all the products that we're talking about and some stock updates. We're going to talk about a surprise product for the 2019 season. Oh, by the way, subscribe because we're giving away a full year worth of lawn products to one lucky subscriber. That'll probably be around December, but you got to be a subscriber, so make sure you subscribe. A uh, spray bottle update. I did a video showing some new spray bottles. I got an update for you on that. Uh, I'm going to talk to you. We're going to do a backpack, a battery powered backpack review. We're going to be doing a video on that. So I want to talk to you about that. Doing a video coming up on staining fences. We're going to do winter prep video. Um, can I mix today? We're going to talk about common question. Can I mix treatments? Can I do fertilizer and this at the same time? Okay, so before we dig into the content here, I want to make sure you understand one thing. My lawn was just a regular lawn. We bought this house about two and a half, three years ago, and the lawn was in bad shape. We haven't done any major treatments to this lawn. We haven't brought in truckloads of soil. We haven't done a major leveling. Yeah, maybe a wheelbarrow too or here to fill in a couple things. But we've done nothing to this lawn except do the treatments that I'm recommending to you. We're doing the same thing with a few renovation products that we're going to keep updating you on. But I want you to understand, it's real important, you can take an average lawn and turn it into a beautiful lawn. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take you around my lawn real quick and I'm going to show you. And I'm going to show you this footage that I shot yesterday, understanding that over the past 55 days we have had half an inch of rain. It has been a nightmare of a late summer, early fall. So let's take a look at that footage real quick. Now that, I got to tell you, that's an impressive lawn. That's a, that is a golf course quality lawn. It is absolutely beautiful Bermuda. Um, I don't even mind saying it. I think this is probably the best that my lawn has, even look, has ever looked, including fighting army worms this year, which have been horrible. So let's dive right into it and let's answer some questions. The first, let's talk about uh, fall fertilizers. When do I stop fertilizing my lawn? It's just like a dog. When do you stop, stop, when do you stop feeding your dog? Uh, I guess when it dies, that's when you stop feeding your dog. Um, same thing with a lawn. You don't stop feeding your lawn until it goes dormant or basically turns brown. As long as your grass is active, you can keep feeding it. What I do when we get to the late fall, 
is I basically do super juice. I put on a light coat of super juice, probably a 50% dilution ratio every couple of weeks and keep feeding it and feeding it. And what you're doing is you're preparing that lawn to go to sleep and go dormant. Remember, this is October 5th today and it's gonna be 92 degrees. Let me say it again. <laughs> October 5th and 92 degrees. I probably have, I think last year, my lawn was green all the way into November. Uh, we didn't even have a first, I think our first frost was sometime in November. So you keep feeding your lawn, you don't stop. Keep feeding it, and the way to feed it, so you don't want to put out anything uh, long-term like slow release, you want to put out a super juice. That's the key element. You do not want to put, the big mistake I see people make is they put out something like a 3000, a 2905, you're not trying to push a bunch of nitrogen on your lawn. You're not trying to get that grass to grow heavy and green up. You're trying to give a balanced 512, 712, 1012 type formula that you're feeding the overall root development, carbohydrates, all the good stuff. Yes, the organic fertilizer is still a good thing to do and it's in stock on Amazon. So you don't want to put a high nitrogen fertilizer on your lawn in the fall. You want a balanced fertilizer, the same thing we've been talking about all year, which is like a 712, 1012 type thing. <clears throat> and you also want to give it amino acids. You want to give it uh, micro macronutrients. Um, if you haven't put down humic acid, put down humic acid. Put down, uh, put down the humic DG that's up on the website. There's a link on the website under soil improvements and you go there and you put out humic acid, treat your soil. You still got two months worth of warm weather, depending on where you are. If you're in Florida, you got longer, Texas, you got even longer, you know, we're in Georgia. So yes, you can put out all these products continually until your lawn shuts down. You still have a healthy environment, your soil is still act active and your lawn is still growing. All right, let's talk about army worms. Uh, I'm gonna show you a little clip here. Um, we had this neighborhood and this area has had a big problem with army worms. If you go out and if you see little white moths flying around, especially at night, you probably have army worms. You want to do an inspection. I'm going to show you what that looks like real quick, what a damaged area looks like. Um, we did one treatment already. Hundreds and hundreds of army worms were dead. Um, I found what looked like a little more activity, so I did another treatment. I didn't find as many, but I did find more because there is a life cycle. So you may have to life cycle through and do a second treatment if you've got army worms or if you've had army worms. If you don't know what the damage is, I'm going to show you what it looks like. So uh, first off, I'm going to show you, as you can see, I'm going around picking up army worms. Isn't that lovely? So I'm going to show you, I'm going to post up on the army worm. Let me come over here. I just treated it again. So you can see, here's one. Let me show you what these little guys look like. So there is a dying army worm right there. Come here, Mr. Army Worm. So that's an army worm right there. And just putting them in the tub. And there's another one. Here's another one. See him? That's an army worm. So one thing I want to do is I want to show you how you identify that you might have army worm damage. You can see behind me. You see those brown patches that look kind of thin and light. In other words, um, it looks like it's kind of spaced out. And I'm going to show you that. That's typically what you'll see when you have army worm damage. You're going to have those weak areas. The grass thins out. It kind of turns kind of brown. It's a good indication that you got army worms. Let me show you up close. Now back here, we had quite a few army worms, as you can tell, because of what? Because of these rose bushes and these bushes here. The army worm moths love to hide in these things. Matter of fact, if I kick this, actually, I can kind of sprayed these so we might not get any usually normally what I'd see is I see these white moths fly out they hang out in here they come down on the grass and they lay their eggs but can you see these weak spots this is that army worm damage we had earlier in the year and still continuing to have um, so I put there's two uh, I actually found that the 24-hour grub killer works really well on on army worms you got to put it down as a granular and then you got to spray it. Now, what I do, if you got an irrigation system, you can run your irrigation system. Stupid me, you know what I do? I actually go through with a hose 
and I actually spray the grass. I walk around spraying the grass, knocking those granules down and wetting it, and that's where I've had real good results. And then I also, on top of that, um, I'm spraying another product that I'm going to put link down below. It's a bear. It's a bio advanced product. And that double hit, man, it just wipes them out. And they're just crawling around everywhere. I'm not having hundreds and hundreds of them right now. Um, my initial killing killed off a lot of them. But if you see those white moths at night, there's a good chance you got army worms. And this has been a horrible year for army worms, especially down in Texas. They're everywhere. No one gives a darn about them in my neighborhood. They're not treating for them, so that means that I'm going to have them because I have the nicest, luscious, greenest lawn around, so they're going to be here. All right, now on our website, there's you click on product links, and you're going to be able to see we've broken everything down and made it easy for you. So you can go on there and click the product links, and there's soil improvement, there's fertilizers, there's lawn sprayers, there's all kinds of stuff. So that's how you get to the product links on our website. Let's talk about uh, the surprise product for 2019. Currently, we're working with some... Uh, we're working with some high-end people and some research and development people right now for a new product for 2019. We uh, will be announcing that hopefully within the next couple of months. And it's going to be, I think, probably one of the best improvements to the lawn care industry probably in 20 years. And I, I say that kind of boldly. But it's something that we've put together through all of our testing over the past year that will make everything real easy for lawn care, real simple, one of the broadest spectrum um, applications that you can put on your lawn. It's going to be great. Absolutely great. Uh, spray bottles. Let's talk about spray bottles real quick. I did a, the last video I did. I was talking about a new spray bottle I found on Amazon. Of course, it sells out within a couple hours. Um, I actually found another one and this one I actually almost like a little bit better. Um, it's made by Hudson. There's a link up on the, on the product links. If you go to product links and click uh, spray bottles, I think it is, sprayers and spray bottles, I put it up. It's that Hudson one with the yellow top on it. Click that. It's about $10. I will, I will make a note. When you go to Amazon, for some stupid reason, if you buy one of them, it's like um, 10 bucks for one of them. The two pack is like $39. And I'm like, that doesn't make sense. So what you do is you put one in your cart when you go over to your cart and then increase your quantity in your cart to three and you'll be at 30 bucks versus like 39 bucks. It doesn't make sense. So when you look at that product, you go to our website and that's why it's important to go to our website and look at this because we find these little things in there. Put one bottle in your cart, go to your cart and then change the quantity. I ordered three and I think I'm going to order a couple more of those. Um, I'm going to be doing uh, a lot of people have asked about a backpack sprayer. So I went ahead and I've been doing my research on it. We're going to be testing one. Uh, I ordered one this morning. It'll be here in a couple days, and I'll do a product video on that. It's a battery-powered backpack sprayer. It's not super cheap, but it's not super expensive. But it got it's gotten real good reviews, and it has um, has really good PSI and some features I think that you'll find interesting. I don't think everyone wants a battery backpack sprayer, but we may even be able to incorporate that into our Super Juice program with some of the features this thing had. So we'll see. We'll check on that. Um, I do have a couple of people have asked me about, uh, we did the power washing the fence. They've asked about the staining the fence video. I'm waiting until it gets a little bit cooler. I don't want to, I already just started staining some of the fence and I was like, man, it's just too hot. So I'm going to wait till we get a temperature drop before I actually finish staining the fence and do that video. So that video is coming. Uh, we'll have a winter prep video coming out here in a couple of weeks things that you can do um, not just for your lawn but around the house and the garden and everything things that you can prep for for before or even actually going into the winter months that'll be a good video to watch let's talk about mixing treatments real quick can i mix treatments that's a common question can i put out fertilizer and pre-emergent at the same time can i put out a fungicide and this at the same time the answer is is yes they're very very seldom is there any negative effects from dub putting out the same treatments in the same day in fact um, the andersons which is a professional turf company if you watch the Ryder cup the Ryder cup golf greens that were out there this year were treated with anderson products they're huge in the turf and golf industry they're a professional uh, company as far as products go it's not real big you won't find them at home depot and lowe's they're really on the professional end of things they make a lot of products that are actually combination products. So it's actually a fertilizer and pre-emergent, a fertilizer and this. So they actually make it in that form so you can mix it. 
Um, so the answer is, is yes. Feel free to put out things, multiple things on the same day. I haven't, I, I can't, off the top of my head, I can't think of anything that would be bad to put out the same day. Especially like Humic. You can put Humic, Humic DG out anytime you want with any other product. Okay, so basically what I wanted to do in this video is just sort of give you an update, give you, answer some questions, tell you about the stock updates. The organic fertilizer is, should be back in stock. There should be plenty of that on stock. The Humic DG, I believe both the 11 pound and 40 pounds are, are in stock. Liquid Lawn is in stock. The Barricade Pre-Emergent, which is about, this is about the time you want to put that out. It should be in stock today or tomorrow. So check back on the website, go to product links and look at it and keep clicking. If it's not there, come back and click it again. We'll put, we'll make sure our link is the right link to that because it's, it's only about, I think it's 59 bucks for a big bag of it. So uh, make sure you come back to our page and click it. Uh, and we'll have a direct link to it when it comes back into stock. But the main thing I want to talk about today is I wanted to talk about the fall fertilizer. That yes, you want to keep fertilizing. I will keep fertilizing every two or three weeks with a light coat of super juice on my lawn all the way until the freeze comes because I want nutrients in my grass and all, all the way up until that freeze comes and it shuts down for winter. After that, there's no nutrients. You don't put anything down. Once you get into, once your grass goes dormant, you're done. Even if you have a warm up and you start to see a little bit of green, you're not gonna put anything down. You're not gonna do anything until uh, the fall. And don't forget on the, um, there is a downloadable uh, Bermuda grass calendar on the website. You can click it, it's a PDF, you can print it off. It's a circular calendar. It's just sort of a reminder to say, hey, I got something coming up. And then you come back to the website and I break everything down. Now I will warn you, when I break that stuff down, I will be updating it because we will have some product changes coming up. So make sure you come back to that webpage. I think that's about it, guys. I got some hot yard work to do today, but I uh, just wanted to post an update for you. Doc.